What's going on, my movie friends? This is Tommy Knocker, the movie guy, coming at you. It's a busy, busy time for me and my family right now. But I would, I thought I would throw in one video in the meantime. My son is graduating, guys, in two days. Yes, graduating high school. I can't believe it. And then Saturday, we're having a party. We're having family up. It's going to be a busy time. But I really wanted to get 10 things I've always wondered in. And this is 10 things I've always wondered about Child's Play 2. Yes. So what are your thoughts on Child's Play 2, guys? Please like and comment. I want to hear what's your thoughts on Child's Play 2. Are there some things you've always wondered? Uh, just what's your thoughts in general about the Child's Play franchise? I always liked the Child's Play franchise. Um, just like any other horror franchise, the last few kind of went off the rails for me. The original trilogy, though, I call it the original trilogy, the Andy trilogy, anyway, the first three is where it's at for me. I do like Bride of Chucky, though. Uh, a lot of people give Child's Play 3 shit. I mean, it's not the original Andy. It's He's older in this one. I've always liked Child's Play 3. I'll definitely do 10, 10 things I've always wondered about that one. But that one gets a lot of shit. I don't understand why. Uh, this isn't one of the things I've always wondered. But I've noticed, though, there's a lot of products like... Um, like, sometimes you go to Walmart or Spencer's or Hot Topic or whatever, and you see a lot of, like, Michael Myers products, but they're, like, Halloween 2. I, I don't I never understood why does it have to be Halloween 2. Did they lose a certain right of certain movies they can't have? So I noticed a lot of Funko Pops have Child's Play 2 in the title. Um, I'm not sure why this it has to be Child's Play 2. Maybe somebody can uh, help me figure this out. This is the good guy, Chucky. Um, I had, I thought I had a few more, listen, over the years, I have sold a few here and there. I did have another Child's Play 2, to, um, I think it was towards the end when he had the, the one hand and he was all melted. I had that one, um, but that one's Child's Play 2. The, a lot of these are Child's Play 2, but I did come across one that's Bride of Chucky. Yeah, this one's the, uh, oh yeah, Entertainment Earth exclusive, Okay. This came in the mail last year or two years ago. I don't remember when I got this. Yeah, this is the, uh, what they call this? The box, the black light, black light Chucky. And look how it came too. Oh, that's fucking fantastic. I love how it came. I, I that, That's great. That's fantastic how it comes in the mail and, it, it, and you take it out and it's, it's, mm, mm, it's great. But anyway, yeah, that's part of collecting. That's part of the Funko Pop collecting game or anything you collect. You take a chance. I prefer to get shit in the store, but there's not a lot of stores around here. Anyway, guys, let's get to Child's Play 2. Ten things I've always wondered. I always found Child's Play 2 the most fun of the Child's Play. I think the first one is the best one. I do. But I do think Child's Play 2, you get the best Chucky. I do. I think you get the most fun Chucky. And there's everything about this one. I just, it's good. Anyway, so here we go, guys. Here we go, guys. Child's Play 2, 10 Things I've Always Wondered. Number one. Okay, I find this adorable. Does anybody else find this face adorable? The first few movies, he really does this quite a few times. But when Chucky, okay, like in this one, Child's Play 2, after he kills the teacher with the thing he makes this face guys this open mouth face like it's adorable i mean you think it's supposed to be scary sure when you're little probably is scary when he makes that face after he kills somebody or he's right in the middle or he's like jumping on somebody and he's screaming he makes that open mouth face it's fucking hilarious and i love it does anybody else like it does anybody else just laugh their ass off when he jumps on anybody and starts it's the best. It's the best. You don't get that with Jason and Freddy and Michael Myers. This one, you can sit back and have a good time. And the, the kills are fucking hilarious. And just how he acts. It's He's adorable. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Even the new Chucky show. He's adorable. Number two. Death by Ruler. All right. And I'm going to get to the number three question. Because this kind of tag teams with number two. I like the kill of the teacher. You know, I think he does stab her with uh, the tire pressure thing first, or he stabs her with something, so she's kind of struggling away. And we get that iconic scene where Chucky's, you know, got the ruler, and it looks cool and everything. But death by ruler? 
How? What did he do to it? He just kind of hit her with a ruler, and he's a doll. So that brings me to my number three question, guys, is how strong is Chucky? Like, like seriously, how strong is he? I know Charles E. Ray's soul is in this doll, but it's still a fucking doll, right? How is How strong is he? He's so strong that he can take a ruler and kill somebody with it just by hitting them. Why, I... And then even towards the end of the movie, he's got the knife up to Kyle, and he's got her hostage. It's a doll. Just move away from him. I know it's Chucky, though. He's got skills. He's He's got skills. He's a serial killer. But it's still a doll, right? How strong is he? I don't know. I never quite understood that. Does he still have the strength of a human being in Chucky? Or is it still a friggin' doll in the end? I don't know. Number four now because that was number two and number three okay did you feel a little bad just a little bad for the for the couple that were you know the, the foster parents maybe not so much phil okay he wanted to get rid of andy he wasn't having it he didn't really feel he was kind of a dick more so joanne you know the sweet woman she took in the indy she really liked him she was she wasn't listening to phil phil's like we got to get rid of him and she's like i like him you know what i mean I liked her character. Did you feel a little bad? And nobody lists her these movies. We know that. Chucky kills everybody. Nobody's safe. Especially a mother figure for Andy. But did you feel bad for a little bit? Did you feel bad for Andy too? He's just trying to find a family. His mom's cuckoo. She's gone. He has nobody. So, did you feel a little bad? I did. So that brings me to number five question. What did you guys think of Kyle? The introduction of the character of Kyle. I loved her character. Um, I loved drawing Beverly Hills 9020 as the crazy Emily Valentine. That's another story. No, uh, guys, but uh, she's in the Chucky show. I never would have thought this character would be this big thing. Like, ever. Like, I never thought I'd see a character on a Chucky show. I never thought I'd see a Chucky show, period. You know what I mean? But they keep bringing back these characters from the original movies, and I love it. And I never thought her character would be that important. But a lot of people do love her character, and she stuck up for Andy. I was happy for Andy that he finally had a friend, a sister figure. And she held her own against Chucky. She did pretty damn good. So, guys, what are your thoughts on Kyle in this movie? What are your thoughts on Kyle in the Chucky show? What do you think? Next question. I've always wondered. The the end of the movie and the factory. Love the factory setting. I love everything about it. The toy factory where the good guys are made. Is that... <laughs> is it ridiculous or is it cool? The eye kill with the doll eyes and the machinery going to the guy's eyes. Do you think it was stupid? Did you think it was gnarly? I loved it. I thought it was original Sure, it's probably in some other horror movie somewhere. A lot of kills are. But in this, for it being a Chucky movie, a Child's Play movie, and a doll factory, and this guy's just minding his own business, trying to get a paycheck, trying to grab that paycheck and head to the nearest tavern, and this guy is fucking around with the machine and gets his eyes. I loved it. It's the cover of my thumbnail. I absolutely thought it was original and great. What did you guys think of that kill? There's not that many. That's the thing about this Chucky movies. The kill count's not high, but they're very inventive. I liked it. So what'd you think of it? Next thing I've always wondered. Do you think the parents, especially Phil, it was more Phil, he was a dick. And throughout the movies, there was some other, you know, but question here. Don't you think they should lay off Andy and Chucky? Like, Andy is scared of the doll. They know the story behind it. There were murders. There's some things brought up. He says the doll was possessed. It became a big story. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you think, though, with with the importance of all this, the, like Phil would just back off a little bit on the Chucky doll. If he doesn't want to hang with it, leave him alone. Don't push it. it just To me, they both kind of did the foster parents push the doll a little bit. She felt bad that he found the Chucky doll, but then they keep... I don't know. It just, just knowing the circumstances behind that... Get rid of the doll. Leave him alone. Stop saying, you, oh, you should get over your fears and make friends with them and just 
Just stop bringing it up. Leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Who cares if he's if he's okay with the doll or not? Who gives a shit. Just my opinion, guys. Just leave Andy alone about the goddamn Chucky doll. Leave it alone. Next thing I've always wondered, and this is just an own personal thing I thought would be cool because I grew up in the 80s. I kind of dug this movie. Child's Play, the theme of it. So what do you guys think about this kind of movie? I know a movie about a doll nowadays is unoriginal. It really is. But what if you incorporate an actual real doll that was a company in the 80s? So my, where I'm going with this, guys, is what would you feel about a horror version of My Pet Monster? Okay, if you didn't know what My Pet Monster was, it's this thing. There was a cartoon. There is a movie, guys. There is a kid's movie. It's got awful. It's a, I think it was a TV movie. But what do you think about a modern horror movie version of My Pet Monster? I mean, stuffed animal. It's a, it's, It comes to life at night. I forgot what the words. I don't remember. I used to watch the cartoon. But then at first, he's a friendly monster. But then things change. I don't know. I don't know what company used to make My Pet Monster. I think it's Hasbro, to be honest with you. I don't think they would go along with it, but... Can you imagine that, though? If Hasbro okayed that? A My Pet Monster horror movie? What do you guys think? I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. Just thinking out loud. Next thing I've always wondered, is this the best Chucky defeat at the end of this? He's had a lot of them. Though. He's had a lot of shit happen to him. In part three, I believe, he they end up in a theme park, right? An amusement park? There's always something kind of cool at the end. But part two, in the toy factory... And all the shit that happens to Chucky almost reminds me a little bit of the Terminator ending. Just a little bit. But he gets his hand ripped off, and he's got the knife in there, and he's all messed up. And they're battling on the, you know, the, all around the toy factory and all the shit that's happening. in that defeat you get. I, I, it's my favorite Chucky ending, the Chucky defeat. What do you guys think? And of course you get the eye kill during that, the whole thing. Alright? Next... And the last thing I've always wondered about Child's Play 2, and this is kind of, I don't know. So Andy, in this movie, after Phil dies, especially after Phil dies, but even before that, he overheard Phil talking in Joanne about, this should probably just get rid of him, you know? This guy's, this kid's too much trouble. We're not prepared for this. He's got a lot of mental issues, you know? You can't blame the guy in a way. You know, this is not just a normal kid. The circumstances behind it. I don't blame Phil in a way. I really don't. But still, could you keep your voice down? He's practically yelling it. You know, tact, man. Tact. Show some. But anyway, what if Andy said, he's not? he doesn't know when he's going to see his mom again. He has no friends. He has no family. He's probably going to be back in the home again, you know, because they're probably going to get rid of him. What if Andy just said, fuck it, and gave up? What if he said, you know what, Chucky? Take me. What kind of movie? So what if, like, half the movie, or maybe not even half, part of the movie is Andy doing some killing as Chucky, as a kid, but then, you know, somehow Kyle or whoever figures out the, the curse, or, you know, they figure out how to get Andy out of that. I don't know. How would you feel about that? I mean, I'd rather just have the way it is. Don't get me wrong. But what if Andy said fucking gave up? What was, what you know what I mean? The poor kid, he, he had nothing to live for at that point. He's probably thinking, Jesus Christ, I don't have a mom. I don't have a family. This people want to get rid of me. I give a killer doll trying to go after me and kill the people that I love. Eventually, he says, you know what? Let just fuck it. Take me. And what in that part of the movie would be about that? I don't know. I love the way it is. I wouldn't change it. Well, just what do you think? It's just for shits and giggles. That's what these videos are for. Child's Play 2, guys. There you have it. Those are some of the things I've always wondered. What did, did you always wonder about Child's Play 2? It's such a fun movie. It really is. The first three, it's where it's at. I love Bride of Chucky. But after that, that's where it goes downhill for me. The Cedar Chucky, you know, straight to DVD movies. They weren't horrible, but they were just kind of boring to me. I enjoyed the Chucky TV show, but Frig, it's crazy. It's wacky. It's wacky. That's why I like the original trilogy first, the first three, especially the first two. It's just, you know, a little more simpler. So there you have it, guys. Please like and subscribe. Stab that notification bell, and I'll see you again soon. It's going to be a crazy week with my son's graduation. 
I'll probably have some more videos out in a week or so. Enjoy your summer, guys. Summer vacation. See you again soon, guys. Take it easy. Have a safe and healthy summer.